Autism is so misunderstood. People often use the word autistic as a synonym for stupid, and people on the autism spectrum are constantly being told that they are broken or in need of fixing. In a world where being autistic is seen as a joke, it can be hard for us autistics to accept ourselves for who we really are. Autism isn't a defect or something to be ashamed of, it is simply just a different neurotype, a different way of processing and relating to the world. Autistic representation in the media is either completely wrong or highly stereotyped. Often these shows with autistic characters or characters that show autistic traits display a profile of autism that isn't actually relatable for a lot of people on the spectrum. They are over-exaggerated and lack the intensity of emotion that some autistic people experience. The increasing number of people identifying and being diagnosed as autistic has led some people to believe that there is an autism epidemic. Harmful charities like Autism Speaks pump out their blatant ableist propaganda with disgusting adverts, even comparing autism to cancer and AIDS. I work very quickly. I work faster than pediatric AIDS, cancer and diabetes combined. And if you are happily married, I will make sure that your marriage fails. Rhetoric like this leads people to believe that their autistic children or family members and even other autistic people in general are broken and in need of fixing. Certain quote-unquote therapies such as applied behavioral analysis or ABA seem to eliminate autistic behavior like stimming with rigorous dog training style techniques. A gay conversion therapy for autistics if you will. Werner Fredrickson is an independent ABA practitioner who works with families all over Europe. He believes it is possible for some children with autism to be brought out of the condition. I don't appreciate autism. I cannot see anything good about it, to be honest. I think we should fight against it by all means, as early as possible and as intensively as possible. The founder of ABA, Ivor Lovas, once said, you see, you start pretty much from scratch when you work with an autistic child. You have a person in the physical sense, they have hair, a nose and a mouth, but they are not people in the physiological sense. The way autistic people are seen has been influenced by these powerful external powers and it's obvious that something needs to change. There needs to be more autistic representation by people who are actually autistic, not neurotypical parents or doctors who think they know what they are on about. No one knows more about the autistic experience than the autistic person themselves. David Byrne is a very talented musician, artist, director, author, public speaker, record producer and all-around creative legend. He is most famous for being the frontman of the eclectic New York band Talking Heads. In his best-selling 2012 book, How Music Works, he mentioned that he had self-diagnosed himself with Asperger's, stating that he had struggled with socialising during his teen and young adult years, and that he used music as a way to express himself when he couldn't do so through regular conversation. When you have trouble expressing yourself socially in kind of the norm, through the normal channels, conversation, that's one of them, you find other ways to do that. You, and one way is to get up on a stage, get up on a platform, and just kind of blurt things out. There was something about having this moment where you're, well, probably, yes, the attention is directed towards you, but you're kind of anonymous, too, and you can actually speak to people in a format that you could be terrified to do on a one-to-one -one basis. In recent years, he has spoken more positively about being on the autism spectrum. When asked about autism in the 2017 Ask Me Anything on Reddit, he simply replied, we all don't have to be the same. David very obviously uses his autistic worldview to his advantage. Kind of felt like, um, well, that's, yeah, that's my superpower. That's with, Absolutely. That's what I, this is, I can use this mm -hmm. in, in my way. Uh, like, I mean, I've, I'm much more social and relaxed now than I used to be, but it used to be, but there's, things to take advantage of. I have no problem, kind of like Greta would say, Yeah. no problem being alone and focusing on something. <laughs> <laughs> focusing yes. and just like, yeah. and then not knowing anything else that's going on and it just is? kind of zeroing in on that. Because of the world's bleak and often downright neurophobic view on autism, it is so refreshing to hear a successful autistic person say such positive things about their neurotype. 
Heck, it's so refreshing to see someone who is so successful act in an autistic manner. There are people that literally want to rid the world of autism, and by him just being him, his innate autistic self, he gives the autistic and wider neurodivergent community a lot of hope. David's creative career has been based upon some of the many positive sides of being on the spectrum, like out-of-the-box thinking and the ability to focus extensively on his interests, to name a few. David's tendency to hyperfixate on certain things has led to many amazing creative projects and collaborations, one of which being his 1986 film, True Stories. In my opinion, True Stories encapsulates how it feels to be autistic. True Stories is probably the most accurate representation of how an autistic person feels and relates to this world. David plays an outsider who is visiting the town of Virgil, Texas, and he is interested by the townspeople's behaviour. He wears a cowboy hat and bolo tie, but he's confused about why no one else is wearing these clothes, especially in Texas. I'm really getting used to these outfits. They sell a lot of them, but I don't see anybody else wearing them. Autistic people often feel like outsiders, viewing people from afar and through a detached lens. Um, I'm sometimes observing myself um, and, and, well, I'm just asking, why, yeah, why do I do that? Well, um, look at what I'm doing. Why am I doing that? Da, 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 da. So to combat this, they pretend to fit in. But this doesn't always work. This is called autistic masking. Or should I be doing what these other people are doing? David shows the world that being autistic isn't something that needs to be cured or deemed as a bad thing. It's simply just how some people see the world. David personifies authenticity when it comes to autism. It's not every day you see a highly influential person talk about their experience with being on the spectrum, and it certainly isn't every day that we see such an influential person simply act and do things that are considered autistic. There is hardly any representation for autistic adults. Most information about autism on the internet is for parents of autistic children, written by neurotypical professionals who often use the faulty medical model of disability. Autism isn't just a children's disorder that mostly affects white boys. It is a lifelong condition that people of all races, genders and backgrounds can have. Autistic adults, especially older people, often don't feel seen or represented by these large autistic organizations. So seeing David in his later years actively stimming in public, it makes a lot of people feel seen. The world needs more authentic autistic representation, so there's no better place to look than openly autistic people. These can be famous people, like David, or autistic-run social media pages and charities. The world is hearing autistic voices now more than ever, and we won't keep quiet until justice for all autistic people is certain.